Welcome back students. Today we are going to study about levels of consumer decision making. So let's begin with this. So we have already seen that uh, these things in our one of the studying about the model. So the first one is the first level where consumer takes it is extensive problem solving. First level describes the extensive problem solving and at this level the consumer does not have any basic information or knowledge about the brand and he does not have any preference for any product. So this time he is going to purchase a new leaf, which is not experienced. He is not having any information and he is not having any knowledge about any product and even he is not having preferences also. So in this situation, the consumer will seek information about all the different brands in the market before purchasing. He will go through all the details about all the brands available, products available or services available and he will ask, he will go for reviews also and he will ask and he will go for so much uh, involved in getting information about all the products. If you see here, so in extensive decision making, high level of involvement is there up from consumer side. High cost goods are involved when we are purchasing high cost of goods, then extensive decision making level comes. Long time to decide because the cost is high, whatever we are purchasing. Evaluation of many brands. Here we evaluate uh, so many brands because this is, we have studied that high cost and long time to decide. And uh, for example, if you see, for examples, uh, we can take car, we can take laptops, or we can take like AC. So these are where extensive decision making involved because the cost of purchasing high, and uh, that we purchase, we don't frequently purchase this type of products. So here consumer go for extensive decision making process. So moving to next is limited problem solving. This is the second level. And this situation exists for consumers who have little knowledge about the market. So in extensive, there was no knowledge, but in limited problem solving case a level, here the consumer have little knowledge about the market situation or he might have some partial knowledge about what they want to purchase. So in order to arrive at a brand preference, some comparative brand information is sought. So he knows what type of brands are available in the market, but some more details he want to go. So here involvement is very limited. Uh, here moderate involvement in selection process. Purchasing process is very shorter here because little bit knowledge you are already having about the brands or products available. Just we are going in detail one and evaluation of few alternatives of the brands and uh, examples are clothing and cosmetics because you know which brands are available in clothing but you will go into the detail the quality wise the rate changes so in that again involvement is there. and another thing is cosmetics so you know what brands are available but uh, when you are going you have little information but for further information you go into the details about the product now moving to the third level, that is habitual response behavior. So in this level, the consumer knows very well about the different brands and he can differentiate between the different characteristics of each product. And he already decides to purchase a particular product because he is having whole and sole information about the product, knowledge about the product, number of brands available, and he can easily differentiate between the products which are available. Okay, so the example for this is uh, we, before going to example, if you see uh, little involvement in selection process is there because he is having whole knowledge may stick with one brand because he's experienced, he is frequently using it. Uh, example, you can take uh, Dow. If you are fe feeling that Dow is very good for your skin, then you will not leave it. Okay, then uh, quick decisions because you know what how to differentiate between the product and what purpose you are using that can be done very fast frequently purchase low cost goods so here fmcg are involved most of the things and examples are soaps and shampoo etc even biscuits you can say so so many are there who are routine response behavior so we will end the topic i hope you have enjoyed